Yeah, it's tough. I think, uh, I think probably my favourite moments wearing an England shirt and wearing that badge is when we played in France in 2019. Uh, we went on tour over there, two tests against the French in France. And the first test, we played them in a place called Apt, and it was boiling hot down in the south of France. We'd, we'd travelled all the way down from England by, by like train. We were, and we went into that game and I think we were uh, the underdogs and then we ended up winning it and beating France. And that feeling there when that final whistle went and everyone was dripping in sweat, everyone was absolutely exhausted, but we'd, we'd done what had never been done before, which is beating France in France. And that moment was just incredible. I remember everyone just stopping and just taking it in and looking at each other and being like, we've just done that, we've just beaten them in France. Uh, the odds were totally against us, but that's definitely one of my proudest moments in an English shirt. Well, France is the team you want to beat. Like, for the, they invented this version of the game. Uh, they've won the last two World Cups. They're an absolutely class international side. So, you, if you want to, want to by winning the World Cup, you want to you want to go up against the best. And, and France have been the best for a long time. But yeah, I, I want to face them in the World Cup. I think one of my uh, favourite moments as a spectator, and it, it's kind of a lot of things go into this, is when we were on tour in Australia in 2019. It just so happened that the men's and the women's teams are out there doing the World Cup nines and. Um, we were in Brisbane and we just launched all our kit onto a plane and flown down to Sydney. And we landed in Sydney and we quickly got all our kit out, threw it into vans, you know, like 10 wheelchairs, 40 wheels, all the players, all the staff, all the coach, and we zipped across Sydney as fast as we could to get to the stage where the nines was happening. And we got there just as, and walked straight in, dumped the vans, went straight in as the women's were coming out of the, of the tunnel in their England shirt, getting lined up, ready to play. And that, for me, it was everything. It was like the fact that the men, the women in the wheelchair were all in Australia and Sydney at the same time playing in the same country. And it was a massive moment where it kind of, for me, it, was, it sealed the deal of being like, we're all one big family, one big unit here, one big, like, England. And just walking out and watching the women come out, and I just remember being like, Bah, this is ace! And everyone was the same, and it was just, yeah, that's probably my favourite like memories to do with the World Cup. Australia. Yeah, that's an easy one, I think. Uh, that opening fixture on the 11th against the Aussies, it's like the dream fixture for an opening game for the World Cup. So it was against the Australians. It's that 100-year-old rugby league rivalry, and that's, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. You see, when you play in Australia, you play in a country that absolutely loves rugby league, so going up against them, you really get that from them. And the games can get quite brutal against them as well. They did when we were over there, definitely. But yeah, definitely the Aussies. Oh, it's going to be ace. I mean, like, internationally, the biggest crowd I've played in front of is probably about 2,000 in France, but loading up all these venues and having potentially like 5,000, 6,000 fans there, one supporting England and getting behind the team, it's just going to be incredible. And, and that's one of the benefits of having a home World Cup is you get that extra buzz and that extra push from having the crowd on your side and supporting you. So yeah, I can't wait to wheel out there and sing that national anthem just with thousands of people watching and, and singing along with us.